All right, so today it's a kind of a tutorial kind of video. And I want to talk just a little bit about brushes in a like a medium swing, medium fast kind of context. Uh, I want to show you some uh, approach that I, 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 would, I would do, I would like to share. And um, I'm not the master of brushing, but um, I, I used to rehearse a lot with just brushes and a practice pad which has a, a, a head a real drum head on it um, um, so yeah I've practiced a lot of brushes in that period of time so I'd like to share something with you guys so um, some people would um, let's talk about the left hand first all right because left hand is like the foundation of the beat and I think the left hand is the 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 drive of the the beat of the groove okay so you, you need to have a nice um, left hand sound in order to get a nice groove all right so some people believe that um it's just um non accent but a vibe so like this Still, a uh, still an uh, accent. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can see. You can hear the sound. How the sound varies. So it's like, like that. So um, you can play like that. A uh, one, two, three, four. Or a uh, one, two. Um, but that's some people's approach and but not for me my approach is to always have a, a pause on every beat at least um, two and four but you can do one two three four and accenting two and four or you can do only two and four so one two three four one two three four one two three four so like that But that's kind of weird for me. So, uh, what I would like to do is something more, a, a little more similar to Bill Stewart. What Bill Stewart does is more like this. Or a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. You have a very strong pulse in every beat. So. One, but that's a little too dramatic for me. So I would like to do, what I would like to do is accenting two and four a bit more and make it a, a more of a smooth sound. One. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Like that. So um, that's for the left hand, and I'm gonna play a little for you. One, two, three, four. So what you want to do is to actually press down. So it's a, it's like a very small circle right here. So one. And then you go down and push two, and then you go up and then you switch. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you hear that pause very clearly, and you want that to be consistent and to be on the point as the the, the right hand, which you play the right right symbol B, right? So we usually do on uh, on. Uh, One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, right? So that's pretty much the same thing, uh, the same thing you wanted to approach uh, with the, the right symbol, okay? So that's for the left hand. We're going to talk about uh, the right hand. So some people believe that the tap and to mute the, the snare a little bit, so... 
would be a nice way, that's for sure. So you get a little bit more definition and clear clarity out of that technique. So like this one. That's for sure. That's one technique. And the most important thing for this technique is that you're not actually pushing it down to the to the drum head, but you're actually doing a what we call a downstroke. So when you play a there's a full stroke, downstroke, up strokes, up stroke, and tap, right? So a full stroke is like this, and then a uh, downstroke is like this, and up stroke is like this and tap is like this, right? So you want to do is downstroke. So, so you're actually not hitting the drums with your full brushes, but you're actually whipping it with your um, brushes and with the bounce, bounciness of the, the wires, okay? So you're gonna stop at the, the parallel um, position right here. So you're not actually doing this, but you're actually doing this and then let it whip to the drum pad, right? And that would be a nice clear sound. And for every stroke, it's like this. See? Some people will play like this, which um, sounds sloppy. I want it to be very nice and strong and clear, okay? So one, two, three, four. Like that, okay? So that's one approach. Another one that I, I would like to use a lot is um, something more like this. A one, two, three, four. which is pretty similar, but you're actually not doing any of that downstroke stuff, right? Um, you're actually sweeping all the time. So the, the pattern is out, um, so, so it's out, out, in, out, out, in, out, out, in, out. So you swipe out and you swipe in and out, right? So see, so um, one, two, and four. Uh, a one, two, and three. Yeah, one. One, two, and three. Four, and one, two, and three. Four. So two and four is like, is, uh, is this side. And you can also play some extra uh, skip notes. So. Like that kind of stuff. So basically that. You can you can imagine that as the the down beat is always out. So one two three four one two three four. If you want to play um up beat, it's gonna be like this one two. So you uh, one two and three four and one two and like that that and is going in inside of your body. So like this right. And then the most important thing for this one is accenting because that is pretty hard to do an accent. So what you want to do is actually press down slightly into the drum. So one, see, I press down a little bit, but not with the bottom of your uh, uh, brushes, but with only the wires and maybe to this, to this part. So you put pre press down like this, but not to the bottom of the, the brushes like that. You want to imagine that your um, brushes is always on the on the snare drum. Not like but all 
All right. Uh, I'm gonna play, I, and the left hand is pretty similar to, it's pretty much the same, so. Alright, so I'm gonna play a little bit in context for you. I'm gonna use the album from the Kenny Barron and Dave Pollen. How do you practice this? I'll, I'll, um, I'll suggest you to practice both hands with, uh, with separated, um, you can practice uh, separated hands. So you can practice only um, left hand. So one, two, three, four. And you make sure you get a nice sound out of your left hand, and then you can mute your drum, your your snare, and then you practice both ways. All right, I still need a lot more practice, but that's pretty much what I'm been what I've been doing recently so thanks